headed to Midgar Sector 8. A soldier operative will be inserted to neutralize the situation. We are to proceed as scheduled. Commence mission in 3, 2, 1. Mark. Begin mission. Operative is ready for insertion. The train has been overrun by Wu Tai troops. Eliminate them and regain control of the train. Oh yeah! Get serious! Zack, focus. <clears throat> there are no Shinra troops on this train, understood? <clears throat> Hello to you too! Zack speaking. Making progress, Zack? What's going on here, Jill? Why are we fighting Shinra troops? They're Wutai troops in disguise. Now, head to the open area above. Towards Sector 8? Yes, but first you have to clear a path. Clear a path? You'll see what I mean. Be careful. So I can cut loose, right? Some discretion. It's showtime. All right. <clears throat> Control Sack using the directional buttons or the analog stick. Enemies in the direction that Sack is facing will be targeted automatically. Sack will throw commands using the L button or R button and press X to confirm. Press triangle to guard and square to dodge. So this is Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation Portable PSP. So I believe that today, that uh, yeah, today on December no, yesterday December 13th, that Crisis Core got a new uh, remaster released for the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5 the Nintendo Switch and probably the X Xbox One and the PC but this is the PSP version played on a computer using the PPSS PP emulators we have better graphics than on the PlayStation Portable it's the best it could be on the PlayStation Portable so I used to play this game I believe when it released back in 2007 but I never finished it I played uh, quite a bit in it but I never finished it so I wanted to play a bit in the original game. I, I'm gonna buy the the new version and play that one for sure to the end. But this one I, I, I don't know if I will play the entire game. 
I probably will just play a bit in it. Show off the old version with the best possible graphics using the, the PPS as PP emulator for the PlayStation Portable. Uh, so the models have been replaced in the remaster and uh, same with uh, the battle system and other stuff but I believe the cinematics uh, in the game are the same if they are using uh, new cutscenes uh, like in Advent Children uh, if it's in-game cinematics with the models of the game then I believe that they have been remade in the remaster okay Activating combat mode. been a long time since I played this game it has like a weird uh, action uh, battle system similar to the modern games but uh, I believe in the original game it's more like a mix between the turn based system and the action system seen in later games in the remaster it's more like in the remake heal myself. A Faraga, Tundaga, Blissaga, so that's uh, I can use um, magic by using the L1 and R1 buttons to move this. I can also place it on attack, then I will automatically attack. Ah, so I use the L1 and R1 to, to move in the lower um, right corner. The, the I'll make first in no time. There. Go up the stairs at the end of the platform. It's a mix between action uh, <laughs> and uh, the old turn You got it. I believe in the in the remaster of the game. It's the same battle system, I believe, as in the remake of Final Fantasy VII. So it's more modern. The story is the same. The models are also replaced, of course. But the in-game cinematics are the same if they are not in-game models like this. I still think this looks good. A PlayStation Portable game. It looks like a PlayStation 2 game, pretty much. With the uh, emulator. Activating combat mode. Used it better resolution. On a PlayStation 2. And I mean, a uh, uh, retail piece too. We'll post the game. Let's continue. So he attacks automatically. And I have it on attack. With Faraga I need to click X to shoot. And I can use square to jump around like this. And I use the analog stick to move around. On X I shoot the Faraga. Fire attack. The Tundaga Lightning attack, I don't know why they named the spells like that In Final Fantasy 7 I believe they were named differently Blissaga is the ice attack I believe in Final Fantasy 7 uh, Blissaga was just ice And uh, Bliss, uh, Tundaga was just uh, bolt or lightning And Faraga was just fire Maybe this is more true to the original, maybe Maybe the translation of the original Final Fantasy VII game wasn't the best. <coughs> okay. Yeah, also have items, of course. Can use potions. We can use attack, but if I have attack on, I believe he will charge automatically. When I click X. No, we don't. We, we can attack uh, when we s select. We'll try to attack him from the from behind. Ah, we won. Nice. I remember playing quite a bit and meeting. Overconfidence will destroy you. 
these cinematics have been replaced, I believe, the ones that use uh, the old models. What is this? <laughs> this is how the resolution was on a PlayStation Portable when playing on the hardware. It's over. The emulator does improve the graphics quite a bit from the original hardware resolution. Impossible. The remaster is still way better looking. So I'm gonna play that one instead. <coughs> it's a more modern version. But these cinematics are the same, I believe. Just, uh, I believe, upscaled in the remaster. Thanks, Angel. Sephiroth was my favorite Final Fantasy VII character. He looked so cool. He looks a little bit different here. His hairstyle is a little bit less cool. But his clothes are the same as in the original, I believe. Just not the hairstyle. He looked more like an anime character in the original game, which I thought was more badass. He looked exactly like in the Super Smash Brothers game. Why? Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Even it's on the Switch. You serious? I was just getting warmed up. Zach. Hmm? Embrace your dreams. Huh? If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams and honor. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this this game is actually pretty fun, but I, uh, I believe I didn't like the battle system that much. So I didn't finish it, but I played quite a bit in it. <coughs> Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII play the original Final Fantasy 7 a million times too. Okay, let's see we'll say the game. Okay. Let's continue. Hey Zach, you seem a little on edge. Can you blame me? All this training and no Assignments like they're hanging me out to dry. You must be pretty busy with everyone off base. Uh, off base? Wait, haven't you heard? There's been a mass desertion at Soldier. Huh? Council says. So in the rem in the remaster, by the way, all the dialogue has been voiced, but in the in the original game, only like a small portion of the dialogue has been voiced, and the rest is text only. So there is a lot of text you need to read in this game, but in the new version, they have um, added voices to to all the text, which is nice. You don't have to read anymore; you can just listen to the voice actors. The okay, council says it appears one of the first first uh, deserted. Okay. It took a bunch of seconds and thirds with him too. So I believe first class soldiers and second and third class soldiers. <coughs> Nobody knows why he left or what he's up to. Council says this mass desertion's the reason why your training's on hold. <coughs> council heads up first. Sack, new assignment. Success. Ooh, finally. Some real action. Okay. This will be your show. Yes. Porto Director Lazard will give you the details. <coughs> Zach. It's good.
good to finally meet face to face. Lazar, director of Soldier. Hey, yeah. <laughs> On to business. Soldier First Class Genesis. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. Know anything about this? Not a clue. Mm. The mission is currently stuck in limbo. That's why we've decided to send you. Uh, to Wutai? Yes. This war has gone on long enough. I've recommended you for first. <laughs> and you! Oh, I love you, man! And you! Don't make me regret this, Zach. Sir! Once you're packed, you'll leave at once. Yil says, the operation will, be will begin immediately upon arrival at Utai. So that's Yafik Sragi's hometown. <coughs> like Japanese town in, in the Final Fantasy VII universe. Okay, if you have any questions about the assignment or combat in general, you should talk to the other soldier operatives. Council says, I'll tell you everything you need to know. The first thing you have to learn about is combat. Probably got a handle on it in training, but I sent you a mail explaining basic combat. Should give it a read. While on the game field, you can press triangle to open the main menu. From the main menu, select mail to read the tutorial mail. Alright, we do not need to do that. Now we can control sack. Yeah, the game looks great on the PPS PP emulator. Looks like a PlayStation 2 game. Alright. It will be interesting to play the new version and compare, but the problem is when I read up on it, it said that it wouldn't work on a Windows 7 and it needed, it required DirectX 12, Windows 7 has DirectX 11, but that's the same as for the Final Fantasy 7 Remake, I believe, uh, I believe uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake Intergrade released last year in December, it also had the same like requirements, but modders managed to make it compatible with um, DirectX 11, which Windows 7 is using. So I can play that game on Windows 7. I'm using a Windows 7 here. Um, but the new Crisis Core game is currently only for the Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers. So I am waiting for a mod or something which will enable Windows 7 users to play it. Because I don't want to pay for it if it doesn't work on my computer. Okay. I do have an older computer that is Windows 10, but I don't really want to play on, a, on an older computer with worse graphics. But we'll see. Cancer says, so, did you read the mail? It's available on Steam, but yeah, I, I just want it to work on Windows 7 before buying it. But I might buy it anyway, we'll see. Oh, the tutorial mail, I read it all. Well, knowing you, you probably won't remember everything after one read. That's not true. Well, read it when you need to refresh your memory. It'll come in hand, I promise. By the way, the material you were using in training have been confiscated. Powerful material have to be earned on your own. Those are the soldier rules. The next thing you have to know about the, pre the special task classified as missions. Put simply, these are errands that the company assigns to soldier operatives. To participate in missions, you have to register your personal information on the mission board. Press X in front of the mission board will allow you to accept missions. Areas that can be checked using X will display a help message. After you register, you can check your missions on your handset. Okay. Come on, I'll show you how to register on the mission board. This is the mission board. Here, try registering yourself now. 
mission registration accepted. To undertake missions, enter a save point and press triangle, then select missions from the main menu. You can only undertake missions when you are at the save point. Right, that's the save point. <coughs> now that you're registered, you should try doing a mission. Sounds like a good idea. I'll do that right now. Save the save point is that way. <coughs> if you're unsure about combat during missions, you should read the tutorial mail I sent you. Save the game. And uh, we'll write that save. Then we click on triangle. Check the mail first. Tutorials, you don't care about tutorials after all. Let's go to missions immediately. Shinra Electric Power Company. Training missions. Shinra's basic training. Easy. It's a new mission. This is a simulated battle against infantrymen. The difficulty level is set low, so it should be pose no problem for a soldier operative. Relax and enjoy the training. Accept the mission. Yes. Alright. Can avoid their attacks. Yeah, I thought this battle system was pretty good actually when I played it. I used preferred turn based back then, but I still liked it. Obtain elixir. Mission accomplished. I just thought that the, the missions were a bit boring after a while. Too many of them. <coughs> Chancel, looks like you cleared a mission. Nice work. <coughs> Success. It was so easy. I could have done it blindfolded. Haha, <laughs> you're the man, Zack. I'll be waiting to hear about your exploits on this Vuta assignment. Oh, I almost forgot. I never explained these supply pots to you, did I? These supply pots are items that you can use in battle. The company sends them to us periodically. I see their provisions for soldier members. It would be a shame to squander the company's goodwill. Check it out before you go on an assignment. I wonder what they gave us this time. In these supply pots are... Uh, Hear that? Ten bronze bangle, nice. All right, looks like you're ready to go. Lastly, I'll tell you about mail. Just now, I sent a mail to your handset. You can exchange information this way. You can also get messages from Director Rastard and Company News via mail. Check it regularly. And who knows, maybe you'll get mail from your friends. Uh, uh, and who knows, maybe you'll get mail from friends you make along the way. Don't you read, uh, but don't just read mail that you get from girls. You'll periodically receive mail from various people. Check your inbox regularly, okay. Well, I guess that's everything. Looks like it's time for you to head out. Going to meet, you're going to... Sorry, you're going with Angel, right? Good luck on the assignment. Yeah, it's a great improvement that they've added voice lines to the new version of the game, so you don't have to read like this. Yeah, thanks for all the information. Uh, the old games were never fully voiced, unfortunately. I think many of the PlayStation Portable games and the PlayStation 2 games should be remastered for modern systems and uh, where they should uh, replace all the text with uh, voice lines. I mean all of the games had voices but not for every single line in the game like the modern games. I like how the soldiers look in this game. I like their pants and such they look cool. Soldier third class says time is of the essence. Please complete your preparation swiftly. Let's save. Okay. Check missions. Finish that one. 
No more missions then. Okay, we already done that. Going with Angel, right? Good luck on the assignment. Mission registration completed. Let's open the door and leave. And Yil says, we have to leave for Butei soon. Are you ready? I'm all set. I'll be joining you as well. I'm counting on you. Sir! By the way, what is your dream? To become first? Is it? No. To become a hero. Ah, good. Unattainable dreams of the best kind. Uh, thanks. Utai, Mount Tamlin. For Tamlin is straight ahead, Angel says. Let's hurry. B unit is standing by. Utai Private says, You too, identify yourselves. Just leave it to me, Zack says. Okay. This was still a good uh, action system at the time. They had done nothing like it before Crisis Core, I believe. It was pretty good. Alright, next. Come down, Zack. No can do. The, the director is watching from somewhere, right? I have to make a good impression. Zack, do you know about uh, Dumb Babels? No, what is that? Unbelievable. How can you not know about Dumb Babels? You'll never make first at that rate. Whoa, wait. What are dumb dumb apples? Apples. Dumb apples. <laughs> ah, combat. Out. There are random battles in this game. I don't know if, if that's the case in the new version. Probably. It's easy to defeat those guys. Have three of them now. Ah, they're guns too. Yeah, I kinda like the battle system in this game too. So Angel, what's the deal with dumb apples? The official name is Benora White. The trees bear fruit at random times during the year. Because of that, the townspeople affectionately call them dumb apples. had plenty of them to spare. Oh, really? So you stole them? We were poor, Zack. Nice excuse. But even then, I had my honor. The largest Benora white tree grew on a wealthy man's estate. It was rumored that those apples tasted the best. But I never stole from that tree because the wealthy man's son was my friend. If he was a friend, you should have just asked for some. Honor can be quite a burden at times. And what exactly does this have to do with me? No story is not worth hearing. <laughs> what? That's it? Yeah, well, thanks a lot. All right. 
yeah the the old PlayStation Portable resolution is really bad. Let's save the game here and end here. Leave uh, maybe we could play a bit more. Um, yeah, we could play it to the next save point. set off an explosion. That's our cue. The diversion will allow us to infiltrate. Right. I'll set the bomb inside the fortress. You'll charge the front gate and... Uh-huh. And, and... And, and, and? Indulge yourself. You got it. That's what I do best. Ah, uh, come on, be unit You know, I've never actually seen you use that. Don't you think it's sort of a waste? Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. And that's a real waste. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah. I can be pretty cheap. Yeah, no kidding. Ugh. Begin mission. Alright, here we go. Height and emotions have affected the DMV. With a sergeant. No one passes beyond this point. The enemy is but one man. Obliterate him. Obliterate him. Okay. We'll fight many. Seems the target is automatically selected. Maybe it's possible to change. Yeah, I can switch target on L1 and L2, I believe. I'm not sure. We can also use the magic, of course, to take them out. I used um, cure there. They do not have lightning anymore, it seems. Yeah, I believe the battle system is improved in the new version of the game. As they run around a lot in this game without doing anything. I believe in the remake of Final Fantasy VII that it's more challenging and probably in the new game too. They are probably better as opponents. Here they just ran around. Or run around in a circle and doesn't seem to do much. The ones on the wall, on the other hand, are fight are firing at us. Eater, let's use it to heal our mana. Then take out these guys with the magic. Right, I did it. Alright, piece of cake. Alright, another battle. 
Enemy attack, it's soldier, don't let him get through. Still very similar to the remake battle system. Just less refined. You still avoid the bullets and such in the same way. And Jill says we were able to get inside the fortress. Piece of cake, I could have done it blindfolded. Don't get too careless. I hear that the wood I keep a large I hear that the wood I keep a large monster for anti soldier purposes. It should be somewhere inside the Fort Tamlin. Success. If I take it out, do you think I'll make first class? Depends on the quality of work. Your main duty is to draw the Vute troops to you by running a mock. Do that well, and the director will give you a favorable evalu evaluation. Oh, that'll be easy. Just leave it to me. Sultan Fort Tamlin. Defeat as many enemies as you can before reaching the central area to impress Dr. Lazard. Okay. Oh, um, for lake enemy. Try to go on easily. Take the chest. Ah, uh, start we will pause the game. The triangle will bring up the menu. We want equipment. Equip. Not that stuff. Mm, DMV. Area. Maybe we should check this area and add the bronze bangle, it will add some defense values, I believe. Oh, we have a map we can bring up on square. Zoom in, zoom out on square as well. We have a symbol for save point. Next zone, door, elevator, and no and try. Okay, we'll just continue. There he is. out easily. I suspect the new game is more difficult because the enemies are probably better at actually doing resistance. I think they are pretty bad in this game. They are very slow. The enemies. The player works fine. The sack is easy to handle. He doesn't feel slow. Ruta Private says open fire. Right, the battle. Yeah, it's the enemies that are, I believe, worse in this game. They mostly run around and do no, no good. Oh, uh, cinematic, mind and body, whatever. Ha. Huh. Deep breath. That's the original PSP resolution. W what do you think? Pretty good, right? That's just you focusing for the sake of focusing. Your true power hasn't... Uh, uh, you won't read this. It's annoying to read when, when it disappears without me clicking. But yeah, the resolution in, in the actual original game looks really outdated. You got 3 in Yule. Rust Assault level 5. He does a limit break, I believe. They're pretty cool. Nice move on. Let's examine this area. This way, follow me, Vute Sergeant says. Vute Sergeant says, attack if you dare, soldier scum. You will fall by our hands. Huh, where did he go? Sneaky little pest. 
Punk. What treachery. Oh, they got in the first two hits there. Right, we go on. Lazard says, this is Lazard. Enemy troops appear to be lurking in every corner. This fortress will not go down easy. It appears that way. I was just assaulted while I was checking a revolving wall. <coughs> there may be similar traps set up at the other walls. Proceed with caution. Remnant forces seen near the revolving walls. Get this chest. Ten potion. Nice. Another chest. There's nothing inside. Now we're assaulted by four enemies. Okay, we'll kill them. Oh. I think the battle system will be way better in the remaster. You got three clouds, nice. Young cloud. Chain slash level one. See, so that's different limit breaks depending on what we get. Okay, we won there as well. <coughs> Let's continue. Alright. Two of these dogs again, monsters. We can shoot fire too. Right, done. We'll check this area. Nothing there. Continue here. Dead end. Might go back where I came from now. I don't know. Yeah, I might be moving backwards. Move back. All right. Here was the secret passage. I think we can do there. Ah, we're supposed to go here. Utah Private says, there he is. Okay. <coughs> Let's fight them. Good, we took them out. I will take the chest. He potion, a better potion, that's good. Heal us. Let's look up. Soldier, operative sighted, he's under the tower. So that's where you are. 38 Tamlin unit charge. They are firing um, fire beams. I need to heal myself. Cure all with potions. Fuck. 
They don't like the blizzard attack, it's slow. It will use uh, uh, it can attack more than one though. At, at once. Now we have a limit. We need to get three of the same. Fuck. Okay. Failed. I don't really know how that works. How we stop it, I don't really know. It seems to be happening automatically. I don't think there is a button, but I could be wrong. We have new intel. Enemy troops have also been detected at the two towers within the fortress. Well, that makes sense. I used to guard one of those towers. You'll have to look for the other tower. Otherwise, the enemy can easily track your position. Remnant forces spotted at the tower. Okay. Move over here. We have to make our stand here. Ready, aim fire. End of the line, soldier. Reinforcements are coming. You can't escape. Charge. I'll find a different route. Let's charge. Sergeant, he's coming this way. Do not falter. Charge him. Just damn you. Good, we took him out. Long live Wutai, says the enemy before he died. Okay, a chest, we'll have to take that after the battle here. Good, took them out. It's easy to take them out. Lazard says, it appears you're doing well, Zack. Enemy forces within Fort Tamlin have essentially been reduced to half. There are still some enemy units roaming about, but you can proceed to the central area if you like. I'll take out all the enemies first. Understood, search for the remaining enemy units and eliminate them quickly. To be honest, I used to want the chest that I saw here. Tend either. Nice. Now let's move in. I'm gonna move in. Understood. Proceed further into the fortress, but be careful. The enemy is hurt, but not down. <laughs> Start on Fort Tamlin complete. Before we do that, we need to heal ourselves. Materia, you secure. Okay, done. Now we can move in. Okay, so there is a boss here. Ah, that must be the central area. Oh, enemies. Good, we took them out. By spamming the attack mode, uh, move it against normal enemies, they don't get a chance to actually attack. Which is nice. Oh, chest. We'll defeat the enemies first. It's difficult to avoid those flamethrower attacks or fire attacks. We got three sevens. Sack level seven, that nice. Chain slash level two. Not the best attack. 
You didn't really see Zack attack the enemy. Okay, obtain the heat potion. Oh, here's a save. You want the other chest? You'll fight another battle there too, probably. I believe they are guarded. Let's see. Earrings, okay. And we'll move back to the save point and save the game. game we want to continue and defeat the boss one avoid unnecessary training two protect loot at all costs three ugly shina soldier dudes must be punished who are you who are you I mean it was Zack who said that I thought it was Yaffe first so this is like Kid Yaffe, Yaffe Kisaragi, one of the main characters of Final Fantasy VII. She's a kid in this game, and Vuta's greatest warrior. She's also the daughter of the, I believe, the, the leader of Vuta. If you wanna go further, you have to go through me. Kid, you shouldn't be playing here, it's dangerous. Go home to your parents. You're the one who's going home. If you insist on going any further, you'll have to fight on your hands. Oh man, what am I supposed to do here? Yep, boom, bam, take that bad guy. So yeah, the Shinra is an evil corporation and Saki is a soldier of the Shinra, so we are like the bad guys. At least in the beginning of the game. Saki is arg, no, you got me. And Vuta is like area that is invaded by the Shinra, so they are the good guys. Dear, that will teach you to mess with me. Uh, once again, I brought peace to Vutai. The model of Jaffe was really good looking. I liked how uh, it looked. I also like sex hairstyle in this game. Boy oh boy, I got to admire that energy. Well, back to work, I guess. Let's go to the arena. Ah, here's the boss. Oh, there are two of them. Didn't remember that. Zack, you must uh, you must be the anti soldier monsters I've been hearing about. Shit. Twin Tomahawk. It's a strong attack. Hope we'll get three of the same, but no, we failed. Need to avoid them and use cure so you won't die. Fire attacks and avoid them. They are pretty slow, but they are very strong. I think ice is more effective, but it's also slower. But you can attack both of them, so I prefer it. We'll use ether. We can use more of the magic attack. Fuck, they did a twin tomahawk again. Special attack. It's dangerous. We'll heal ourselves. Okay. 
Oh, we took out one of them. Perfect. Ah, we won. Not too difficult. Just needed to avoid them. Spam the magic attacks. Soldier second class sack victorious once again. Good work. Now get out of here. Oh, good work. Now get out of there quickly. There's only five minutes until detonation. Understood. Ah, so there's a bomb here now too. We need to avoid. Director Lazard. Are you watching? <laughs> Gotta move. <gasps> no, another boss. No time to play. We'll probably have to fight him. Yeah, I thought so. We'll see. Hopefully not. Ah, we didn't have to do it. Maybe we do, we'll see. Yeah, he was killed. Maybe by separate problem. No, and you actually. That's one more you owe me. You lost your focus. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry if your sword got any wear, tear, or rust on it. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not used to being on site. I didn't have to come. This operation will bring an end to the war. I have to see it through personally. Soldier second class, Sack. Sir, you performed your duties admirable at Fort Tamlin. I saw it with my own eyes. Frankly, my evaluation of you is. You supported Angeal well by diverting the enemy. An acceptable level of work for a second. Be ready for your next assignment. Sack, do you know the difference between a first and a second? Soldier first class performs above and beyond the call of duty at all times. Remember that. Okay, obtain bulletproof beast. Okay, X1. Now let's hurry. Sephiroth is waiting. Sephiroth, the soldier hero. Whoa, I get to meet a hero. Another battle first, of course. Height and emotions have affected the DMV. Alright. Hopefully we get limit break. No, failed. Good, took them out. Nice. I feel this battle system is easier to just kill the enemies without them even getting a chance to hit me. Sack, come on. I haven't played the new version, but I've played the remake version of Final Fantasy VII. They are more difficult there. They are more competent. And Yil says, take the director to a safe place. <coughs> then contact Sephiroth. Lazard says. Gil says, Sack is more than enough. 
I'll go. Follow me, director. Success. Okay. Infantry man says, Thank goodness you're safe, director Lazard. Should be fine now, Zack. Go, go and assist and yield. I know, I know. Zack says, Okay. Here we have another save point, and we'll save the game here. And I think we'll end the recording here. Yeah, I like this model of Zack 2, at least on the emulator. I don't like the old resolution of the PlayStation Portable. I have a two PlayStation Portable. Okay, but thank you for watching. We'll see if I continue this, or if I will restart the game using the new version. But there's a risk that I need to play it on the older computer with Windows 10. If it's not working on Windows 7, we'll see. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.